One font rules all headers. You have to just do one thing to get better headers. Just select this one font. One font. In this video, we want to go over header fonts. Well, actually, only one header font rules them all. And we will go over what that header font is. But I want to start off with what we're trying to do. When we start a Google Sheet, we have the default Arial font. If you watch any other videos here about fonts, you know, probably my favorite my favorite font is Carla. I was going to say my favorite Carla is font. That's not right. My favorite font is at this time Carla font. And I usually say, you know, change everything to Carla. Just that, if, if you don't do anything else, you can just go to more fonts, find Carla, and get it into your system early and use it off. Use it early, use it often. It is a great font. It is thin. It is well, e easy to read, well done. Like it, it has different look and feel than Arial. But what we're going to end up doing if we use Carla everywhere is that we have the still the classic problem, sort of the same problem as we have no matter what, which is our header and our data is going to look the same. And you probably go through this problem and you're probably like, hey, you know what? I can bold my header. I can make my header bigger, probably put some kind of a black or maybe not black, but maybe a thin pastel. Y you do all of this other stuff. And what happens is that our headers, and I go over this in another video, especially for better sheet members, I go deep into this. And basically what this happens is our header becomes like the brightest point, but we actually want our data to be bright and our data to be seen. The headers you just need to reference. And so in a whole nother video, I talk about why you should not do what I just did here. And you should actually have much smaller headers. But what about the font? There is something to be said about just changing the font and almost nothing else. So no matter what, even if you use a completely different font, if you use Arial, if you use Carla, no matter what, what we could do is just change our font of our header and it will look completely different. And that's what this font does differently. And the font is uh, Oswald. So it's very little used because it is in the O's. Most used fonts are in the A's, B's, and C's, but it is in the O's. You have to scroll down or we can also click on more fonts and you can see it here, Oswald. There we go, Oswald. We might have to initiate it, I get it from more fonts. Now this, you almost only have to do this, change your font. Now, there is a stark difference between our header and our data, and our header is not like bright in our face. It is a little bit bolded, so Oswald is also skinnier, so it's a little bold, one good thing, so we don't have to bold it. We can, if we want, we can hit bold. I don't necessarily like that, but you don't have to. It looks a little bit thicker, and it's skinnier, meaning you can actually get more letters in. So this is not a monospace font, so N not all characters will be the same. I think we can do like, let's see, yeah. The I's are gonna be very thin, T's are even thin, whereas you have a thicker T on your Carla. Also, if you notice here between Oswald and Carla, Carla has a lot more space between the letters. Oswald shrinks that all down. We can even bring this up to a higher font size, and it looks great. It looks like a header without having to do all of the other stuff to it. We can also take down color a little bit and let's even put it in the center, center it, right? Now, right, we have separated our header from our data. In a way, we don't have to work with colors. We don't have to work that much with size because it's a little bit bolder. It's a, it's a different kind of font. Oswald, I find, is just the best header font ever. It is so good, and I hope you start using it here, uh, and I hope you start using Carla. If you haven't used Carla yet, go ahead and use Carla. Even if you don't use Carla, let's go back to Arial here. Arial and, and Oswald still are starkly different. So it's a stark contrast between your header and your data, but all you need to do is change the font. We don't have to add some color. We could add color if we really want. And I just want to give you one bonus thing in this video. If you end up wanting to get a little bit more contrast, but you don't want to increase the size of your header anymore, you don't want to decrease colors or anything, what you could do is go to up to freeze, sorry, free, not freeze, view, grid lines, take away all the grid lines, and only put the grid lines on your data, or even just on the inside. Now, our headers 
are completely uh, different and starkly different because they have a big gap, a big, a lot of white space, more white space between them and the data than the data itself. So you can see, oh, this is the header. This is really easy to do. A couple clicks and you're done, right? You don't have to mess with much of the, again, all the normal stuff you're doing to your headers now, you're putting them with a darker background, you're putting them, making them bigger, you're making them all different, bolding them, right? No more. This looks a lot neater. It look, looks a lot nicer. You can also say, uh, make sure that the fonts are all the same sizes and they're still going to be starkly different. Your header is going to be different than your data. This is really cool for making kinds of tables or any kind of data where you need a little bit of hierarchy, but you don't want to really do something crazy with your headers that you might normally be doing. You're trying to make your Google Sheets better. Watch this video. It's the most recent upload here on Better Sheets. And watch this playlist. It's going to show you how I take bad sheets and turn them into great sheets. We turn all these sheets better. I hope you enjoy and learn something too.